Hello everyone, I'm Natasha Punola, Executive Director of the Serum Institute of India and Chairperson of the Foundation. The last few months has been a reckoning of sorts. It has tested our resilience and brought the warriors out in us all. It's no secret that our teams at Serum Institute of India have been working tirelessly on a vaccine for COVID-19 with several collaborations with world-class research institutes and we are getting a little bit closer to the launch every day. Over the past five decades, our main focus at the Institute has been preventive health through our vaccination drives that reach over 50% of the world's population. What keeps me going? The everyday stories of courage and bravery from essential workers and healthcare professionals to kind-hearted citizens that have emerged as everyday heroes in these trying times. Their selflessness and willingness to set aside fears of contagion, to go out and help people is worth acknowledging and applauding. I'm Janina Gavonkar coming to you from Hollywood, California, and welcome to the grand finale of Vogue's Women of the Year 2020 Special Edition. A year ago, I never would have imagined that I would be hosting Vogue's Women of the Year Awards in my flats. And that's not even the craziest thing that's happened to me this year. Thank you so much, 2020. But hey, this is the new normal of waste up fashion, never ending screen time, and entertaining ourselves at home. And that brings me to the women who made us laugh, cry, dance, and basically kept us entertained through this exhausting year. Here are the Vogue headliners. Our next winner grew up between Kosovo and London, long before she made her debut at Glastonbury and had most of Mumbai making a four hour trek to watch her live. Last year at 24, she made history by having the most streamed album on Spotify and won not only a Grammy, but our hearts. This year, she allowed us to have the biggest house party when she dropped her new album, Future Nostalgia. The Global Entertainer of the Year Award goes to Dua Lipa. Namaste India, I hope you're all staying safe in these strange times and taking good care of yourselves. Today, I'm extremely honored to be awarded the Global Entertainer of the Year 2020 at this year's Vogue India Women of the Year. I feel immensely grateful to share the stage with such talented ladies tonight and congratulations to each of you for all your incredible contributions. Um, the memory of my last trip to India is still so fresh and uh, I just had such a great time performing in front of such a lovely Indian audience. Um, this year, we had a lot of plans for my fans around the world, but then the pandemic happened. Um, but I have to say during quarantine, I felt really, really connected with my fans and I wanted to give them something to raise their spirits, something to dance to and take their mind off things, which helped make the decision to release Future Nostalgia, my second album earlier than planned so that all my fans could have something to party to in their respective homes. Thank you again so much. I'm so, so grateful. I can't thank you enough for all the love and support that you've shown me and my music. Um, I have so many more exciting things planned for you all and I'm really, really hoping I get to see you all very soon. Mwah. Thank you for the early release, Dua. I hope we both get to head back to India soon. Our next set of awards are the Spotlight winners, the four women who managed to have a breakthrough year even in the midst of a pandemic. First up is a writer who was on Margaret Atwood's quarantine reading list, and now she's on every other prize list. She has taken the literary world by storm with her New York Times best-selling novel, A Burning. Congratulations, Megha Majumder. Thank you so much for this huge honor. I'm so grateful to Vogue, 
to everybody at Penguin India, especially my brilliant editor, Manasi Subramaniam. And thank you to everybody who has been reading and turning to fiction this year and bringing so much to it. Our next winner is the woman who put Ladakhi cuisine in the culinary conversation, helming three all-women kitchens in Ladakh. She is not only archiving regional cuisine, she is fostering a sisterhood by empowering an army of home chefs. Winner of this year's Nari Shakti Puruskar and now Vogue India's Spotlight Award is Nilza Wangmo. Julie and hello from Ladakh. I thank you for uh, considering my name for Vogue Woman of the Year Award. You are not just giving me this uh, prestigious title, in fact you are recognizing each and every woman like me who um, uh, identifies with the struggle uh, as same as I did and has reached a certain success and uh, thank you once again. Anushka Sharma will agree. Our next winner is a natural. The breakout star of one of Netflix's most buzzed about shows, Bulbul, Bul, produced by Anushka and Karne Sharma, the luminous Tripti Dimri. I want to thank the entire team of Vogue India for considering me worthy of this award. This is something that is always going to be special to me since this is my first ever award. And no words can describe the amount of happiness that I feel today. So thank you Vogue India. Thank you so much for this honor. I'm truly humbled. Thank you. Our final winner of the spotlight category is a girl that I envisioned when I first read Vikram Seth's A Suitable Boy. The rising star at Toronto International Film Festival, our winner is Lata Mera. I'm sorry, Tanya Manikala. I would like to thank Vogue Woman of the Year 2020 for this incredible recognition. It is very humbling for me to be receiving Spotlight of the Year Award. And I would like to thank my director, Meera Nair, and the stellar team of A Suitable Boy for all the support and this opportunity. So thank you to all the people who believed in me through and through. I think from a poetic space and I create from a scientific space. Hi, I'm Shonan Puri Trehan. The Quarry Gallery is so beautifully curated that when Vogue asked me to design a trophy, I was thrilled. We chose the Bianco Lhasa marble for its pure yet powerful white expanse. I wanted to design a trophy to honor the extraordinary women who have defined this extraordinary year, the shift makers. I had a vision of a part of this monolithic stone shifting off axis and mysteriously balancing on this precipice. This shift implies a new axis, a new direction with positive change. You shifted us from despair to hope, sadness to belief. Ladies, I give you the shift. I am truly honored. Thank you Vogue and thank you the quarry. Our next winner is an actor whose films are in a genre unto themselves. An extraordinary woman who was born to play extraordinary women. This year, she gave us Shakuntala Devi, the mathematician who is known as the human computer in a film by the same name. The Performer of the Year Award goes to the lovely Vidya Balan. especially considering the kind of year it's been. Uh, but yes, Shakuntala is a very special film which has brought me a lot of love. It's a film I work very hard on and I'm glad it's touched people, uh, it's inspired people and therefore thank you very much Vogue for this award. It is very special. It is my first for Shakuntala. Um, thank you. Our next winner is a testament to the phrase stardom young. 
She had already signed a record deal at 15 with her girl band, Fifth Harmony. At 19, she kicked off her solo career, and at 21, when the rest of us were just happy to legally be getting into clubs, she had already topped the Billboard charts with her hit, Havana. And now, at 23, she is our Youth Influencer of the Year. Congratulations, Camila Cabello. I can't believe that I was just named Vogue's Woman of the Year in India. That is so incredible. Oh my god, thank you guys so much. I've actually never been to India before, but it's one of the places that I would most love to go. It's probably my top place that I would like to go right now, and not just because I got this award. I seriously have been saying that this whole year. So thank you so much. This is such an honor. I just want to say I love you and um, send massive love to all of my fans in India. And thank you so much for this incredible honor. I mean, I, I, uh, there's all of the honorees um, that are being honored, the frontline workers um, that I've been helping in this insane time. I have nothing but uh, respect and admiration and gratitude for you all. Uh, all the other women that are being honored this year, I'm so honored to be by your side and I'm sending so much love to you. And yeah, I'm just sending so much love. Thank you so much for this honor. And I'm, I'm so in love with Indian culture and I would love to go there one day. And it's actually, it's my, it's my next place on the list to check once things get back to normal. So I'm sending you so much love and thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Love you, India. Thank you, Camilla. I have to confess. Dancing off to Havana is a family favorite, especially for my nine-year-old. Hi everyone, I'm Priya Tanna, Editor-in-Chief of Vogue India. Shanina will be joining you in a moment, but I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you why my team and I think that this has been the single most extraordinary edition of our Women of the Year Awards. Since 2017, we've taken great pride in championing women from various disciplines, women who have overcome innumerable hurdles to scale dizzying heights. However, if there was one attribute that stood out this year with all our winners and what they all have in common, it is their selflessness. They're all committed to making this world a better place and each one has leveraged their popularity and platform to impact change in their own industries. One such woman is our next winner, who's used her voice and her celebrity to do just that. Her images are not airbrushed, her words are uncensored, and she's an activist who's called out bigotry of any kind. She led a crusade against the diet and detox industry and made Facebook and Instagram join in by helping them change their policies. She has also helped create a radically inclusive digital safe space with iWay. She's queer, she's fierce, she's vocal. Basically, she's my kind of a girl. Congratulations, Jamila Jamil, Vogue India's Disruptor of the Year. Thank you so much for honouring me with Woman of the Year. This is very unexpected and such a privilege. I love you very much. And I also just want to take this opportunity to remind the women of India how strong and amazing and beautiful and brilliant they are. You are impressive. And the reason that you have been subjected to so much gaslighting and abuse and fear mongering from men from patriarchy is because they are terrified of you because they know how amazing you are they know that we have the power to bring this world to its knees and so because of that they work overtime in trying to convince us otherwise and make us feel as though we deserve to be second-rate citizens we don't you deserve to be an equal you are impressive, you are strong, you are amazing, and you must never, ever forget it. And least of all, never let a man tell you that you are not. I love you, I'm with you, and I believe in the fight for this sisterhood with all of us together. And we love you, Jamila. Thank you. 
Our last award goes to a lady that I have known for almost a decade. Oof. She is a one-woman entertainment conglomerate, a powerhouse producer, an ambassador for the NBA, and soon to be seen opposite Keanu Reeves in the new Matrix film. The Global Icon of the Year Award goes to Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Hi everyone, I hope all of you watching are home and safe. I wish that we could have been able to do this in person, but I guess we're all finding new creative ways to adapt to the new normal. Um, I'd like to thank Vogue India for this award, from being on your first cover in India to this beautiful evening and so many other shoots and wonderful experiences in the middle. We've been on quite a journey together and I really appreciate it. And I truly appreciate this recognition as well. It's been a 20 year voyage from Miss India, Miss World to today. Um, and I've always believed in the sheer talent, grit, hard work and intelligence that we as Indians bring to the table. And I'm always honored to represent the India that I grew up in to the world at large. So I thank you so much once again, and I will see you all soon, hopefully this time in person. But until then, wear a mask, stay safe. Thanks girl, and congratulations to all the Women of the Year Award winners. A big thank you to our title sponsor, the Serum Institute of India, and our partner brands. You know, as much as I loved hosting this, even virtually, I can't wait to go back to the way things were. I won't even complain when I have to wear heels again. That's a lie, I'll complain. But I'll wear them, and I will happily be able to be there with you, hopefully next year, in person. Until then. Keep the faith, stay safe, and keep celebrating powerful women. I'm Janina Gavankar, signing off from the Vogue Women of the Year Awards 2020.